With Cabinet Vision version 11, you now have the functionality to send your reports tab to drawing. This can be done from either our room level or our cabinet level. So here I can right click and say to drawing. I'm going to return to my plan view and go into assembly level. And from our reports tab here, I'm going to send to drawing as well. Now browsing to our drawing tab, we'll see that we now have those scenes available. We can drag and place those as needed. We can see here we get a list of all of our assemblies, and here we see a list of all of our components within the assembly that I sent to drawing. With Cabinet Vision version 11, you now are able to browse your object tree using the arrows on your keyboard. In the past, to expand, you need to click on the plus and click on the minus to collapse and click on the different items throughout the tree. However, now I can use my down arrow to move down, my up arrow to move up, my arrow to the right to expand an area, and my arrow to the left to collapse. In the past, when importing a SketchUp model or a 3D DXF, it could be difficult to select the appropriate part type for each component as there is no real way to tell which part was which without changing it and viewing it. However, now with Cabinet Vision version 11, when you're selected on any component, that part will highlight in the view above. In Cabinet Vision version 11, a few tools have been added to the Reports tab and the main ribbon that wasn't available there before. They're tools that were available in our plan tab in Elevation, however, they weren't present here. These tools that were added were found under Modifications, Copy, and Delete Room, as well as we now have the option to access the object tree from our Reports tab as well. With Cabinet Vision version 11, some functions have been made more accessible so that we don't have to go through as many commands to access them. In the past, in our Reports tab, to edit an assembly, we needed to right-click and go to Edit. You can still do this. However, with version 11, I can now simply double-click on an assembly and that'll bring us to our cabinet level. Well, in our cabinet level, if we access Reports, we can now double-click on a part and that will bring us to our part level of the component we double-clicked on. Also, in our Reports tab, when we enter our order entry, we can bring in our assemblies. And in the past, to delete an assembly, we needed to select it, right-click, and delete. However, now, if it's something I've recently done, I can click Undo, and it'll remove that assembly. Or I can also select Redo if I accidentally deleted something I don't want to. With Cabinet Vision version 11, Word Wrap has been added to the comments fields found under the job assembly and part level. What this means is in the past when I would type some text, it would just be a continuous line on cabinet vision and we would see a, a slider bar across the bottom here. However, now you'll see it actually moves to the next line automatically as it fills this field. This is also found when you select assemblies, right click, go to properties, and comments, and we can enter in text here as well. And we'll also see this at a part level. So we can browse to our assembly level, select a part, right click, go to properties, and comments, and enter in text here as well. And again, we'll see that wrap function apply.